Hey what's up guys myself Swapnil Swasto and today in this video I gonna show you how you can install Kali Linux on your computer so for this purpose I gonna use a VMware workstation player and you can also use the Oracle virtual box but I found it that while installing the Kali Linux on the virtual box there are so many bugs and errors coming out so I will prefer you to choose the VMware workstation player so let me show you how you can download those things and install it so first of all you need to go to your favorite browser and go to the google.com and search there for the VMware here you can see I make the search and here you have to go to the downloads and when you click on the download this page will be appear so just slide down and here you will find the VMware workstation player so just slide down slide down and so here you can see here is the VMware workstation player so when you click on the download here you will find here is the download sign so when you click on the download it will open like this and here you have to choose the Windows 64 bit operating system and click on the download so when you click on the download it automatically start the download process so you can see starting the uh, starting the download process so I will cancel it because I already downloaded here you can see I already downloaded the VMware player and you also have to download the Kali Linux for your computer so for this purpose go to the google.com and search there for Kali Linux and from here go to the Kali Linux firstly this website and here you can see it's opening up and let me show you sorry for the internet screen so go to the download Kali Linux and slide down and you will find there are so many uh, images of Kali Linux available here so you don't want to choose any one of it you just need to slide down and select the Kali Linux Kali virtual index and just slide down slide down so here you will find the Kali Linux VMware images so download any one of it so I downloaded in uh, the 64 bit version here you can see the 2.2 GB and I already downloaded you can see I put it here and it will be in the rare file so you need to just extract it and when you complete the extraction it will look like this and just copy the directory where you put, it, uh, put that file so let me copy it and now you need to install the VMware player so here you can see I am installing the VMware player. Click on the yes and wait it loads its installation file. Click on the next. Click on the I accept your terms in license agreement. Click on the next. Click on the next. Click on the next. Click on the next. Install. So you can see installing the VMware extension player on my PC. So it takes some time, so wait for a while. So you can see it's taking some time. So it depends on your PC configuration. So let it continue. So let me back when the installation process will complete. So guys now you can see the installation process has been completed. So click on the finish and here you will find the work VMware workstation player. So just click on it and open it. So double click on it Sorry. and it will open like this. So you have to choose a uh, open a virtual machine. So click on here. So here I have to just pass the copy directory and click on here and go to the and select it and click on the open. Now you can see just open right now and now you have to click on the power on. So click on the ok. 
click on the option and here click on the enter so you can see it just booting up so it will do some configuration so wait for a while it may take some time so here you can see it's doing something doing some configurations for booting the calendars on the room here first station here so you can see this booting up and reminding me so it's asking for the tools to download so I will just download it here here you can see just booting up is taking some time Depend on your phone, uh, PC phone specifications. Now you can see just boot it up, and now you ask for the username. So the default username of a Kali Linux is root. So let me select it. Root, and click on the next. And the default password of the Kali Linux is T O R, means tool. It is just the reverse of the root. So just type here tool and click on the sign in. So now guys you can see it's just booting up the Kali Linux. So let me just maximize the screen. You can see just opening up it's taking some time. Wait for a while. So now guys you can see just open so let me select the full screen mode and now you can see i just installed the kali linux on my pc so i will prefer you to choose this method because the virtual box uh, the virtual box method is so much laggy and so much errorful that i still did not find it working on my computer so let me show some commands of the kali linux so you can see i just checked my drivers of the kali linux here you can see the internet card and uh, all the other files, uh, all the other uh, drivers present here. So let me close it. And let me show you here you can also use the internet connection. So internet option is available in the VMware workstation player. So let me open the uh, Mozilla Firefox. And here you will also find all the important Kali Linux tools like here you can see the Metasploit framework that you can use for uh, hacking any Android phone and creating the meter Peter bridge to hack their uh, and remotely control their smartphone and here you can see the beef xx framework and so many tools are present here uh, let me go to the show applications and here you can see the most used application here right? and go to the application from here and here you can see the op uh, op uh, information getting tools the Dimitri, the Reno client tool and the vulnerability uh, analysis so all of the tools, uh, the required uh, Kali Linux tools are present here. So you don't gonna to need to download all these things. Here you can see the air crack engine that you will use for hacking any Wi-Fi network. So these are the tools that are the best tools for hacking and you will find pre-installed in the Kali Linux. So let me open uh, website from here to show you it's working so let me go to the YouTube and you can see the internet connection is working right here and let me search here let me search here our channel Here you can see, see this mine. No, it's not mine. So here it is. So you can follow these steps and you will find it. Uh, your computer can run Kali Linux. So thank you guys for watching my channel and my video. If you find helpful, please do like and comment for any questions. And one more guys. Please please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You have to click here, and 
if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel i will try to give you the better content from this so thank you guys for watching video have a good day good luck bye take care